This is the drive home with Zach, Frankie, and TT for the Mill drive home, driving home from the den where it finished Millwall 1. Sunderland 1. Mill 1, Sunderland 1. I think Sunderland's God with pretty much their only chance of the game. It's one of those um one of those kind of games today. Officials were absolutely shocking. I'll get onto that in uh, in ref watch. Subs came too late. As far as I'm concerned, we looked tired after going ahead. Um, like I said, we didn't really look like conceding, but it was always going to take something like that to, to make us concede. But thanks very much for watching. If you don't mind putting a like on the video, it'd be really appreciated. We really pr appreciate your support um, and obviously put your comments in below. <coughs> we started off with uh, long in goal, a back four of Danny McNamara, Charlie Cresswell and Jake Cooper with Murray Wallace as the left back. The two in front of them was George Savile and Billy Mitchell. The midfield three was on the right. We had George Honeyman on the left was Mason Bennett. And in the middle, we had Zian Fleming behind Tom Bradshaw. Obviously, a lack of signings in the transfer window. What more has, uh, you know, we've, we've brought him in and he's had, he had to come on in the second half. Um, he, he looks... Burke, Burke also came on. So that was um, both the signings that we made, made, you know, had some minutes today. We, first, first, first couple of minutes, we get a chance, comes, uh, actually first five minutes, I felt Sunderland put us under a bit of pressure. Yeah. I thought we were going to be in for a long yeah. day, um, certainly considering how it was up there. Um, but then Bradshaw, we, we get the ball, Bradshaw cuts him from the right, he gets in front of his defender and the defender's just holding him, grabbing him. Bradshaw does go down quite easily, but considering what the ref gives after that, yeah. um, how he hasn't given that, I have absolutely no idea. Considering if, you, if, if you're a ref that's not going to give contact and you're going to let the game flow, fair enough. But there was a lot of contact there and he gave everything, he gave what? Well, gave Sunderland everything else after that. The amount of times they went down really easily and he gave it, but he didn't give that. Um, would have given us a great opportunity to take the lead. We then... Um, Create a good chance, played down, it was played down the right, crossed into Mason Bennett, who it, it comes from the right. Mason Bennett then hits it bottom left. Um, oh, just yeah, just goes so just goes wide of the post. You know, you really want to see him get that on target. It was a great opportunity. Um, we had a couple of, like I said, that, you know, there was a couple of mad decisions that were that were going on. I think George Savile got booked for, for, for bringing his player down and yet straight afterwards a Sunderland player done exactly the same thing and he wasn't booked and that, that's the kind of inconsistency that drives you mental and then right on half time there's um, you know a, a, a coming together between Mason Bennett and one of the Sunderland players and you can see you know everyone in the stadium could see that Mason Bennett was in a serious way uh, the ref first of all didn't play he, he, he played, played he on, played on. Then they they got a foul shortly afterwards, and he allowed he allowed them to take the foul straight away. And again, in the second half, um, there wasn't even a head injury, and he stopped it. But Mason Bennett needs to be taken away in an ambulance. You could see he was in agony. The the, boat, the players that were close to it were signalling that the trainer needs to come on straight away. Literally, they were doing that, which means come on now. And it, no, and he didn't. And he didn't stop it. It was what's it called? It was absolutely. It was madness. I I, I can't. Couldn't get my head around some of those ref decisions in the first half. He didn't have much to do in the second half. But, um, yeah, really, really poor official. The goal that we score in the first half um, was a shot from Zian Fleming. The goalkeeper parries it. Now, it's been ruled out, from what I can see, for offside. Um, for offside, because George Savile... George Hunting. No, I think it was Savile. Was yeah, I think it was Savile... Um, a judge to be in the way, even though you know you see you've seen so much of interfering replay. He doesn't touch the doesn't touch yeah, it's the. Yeah, like Man United. Yeah, that, um, it doesn't touch the doesn't touch the ball. Doesn't get near the ball actually, um, and you can argue whether he's um, made a made a motion to, to to get in front of it. But I, 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 it's so so harsh. You see it all the time. And the worst thing is, he's he's had to he's had to. Um, have a minute before they decide what what they what they're going to do. You think they give the 
all the celebrations, we're walking back to the halfway line nearly, and then and then they decide, do you know what, we need to rule it out, and it's because it's Millwall, we will rule it out. Basically, yeah, it's, it's very very frustrating. Um, I don't know what he's doing here next to me. Um, oh, they're having an argument. Um, sums up today really. <laughs> a driver, yeah. a driver having a, a, a finger with a cyclist. Um, but yeah, that to be going at half time. We do take the lead straight after. Well, to be fair, before we did score, we yeah, had a couple had of good like, chances. Lo like it was basically the two things of the goal come together. Yeah. So you had George, um, George Honey. Was it Honeyman's chance first or Murray uh, Wallace? It no, was Murray, Murray Wallace, Wallace had a header. Yeah, had a. It was a great header. Just yeah. looped, hit the crossbar. Very unlucky. Yeah, and then um. Afterwards. So he's hit the corner of the crossbar and the post. It was a really good ball in. Header was quite far out. To be fair, it was about sixteen yards out. Yeah. And then, and then, a similar thing that played in from the right. Honeyman. Has is, a deflected is, 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 shot. Was it deflected? Yeah, it was definitely deflected. Oh, I didn't think it was deflected. Obviously, you have that better angle from where you sit compared to me. But the keeper's made a fantastic save and, and, and palmed it away for a corner, which the corner comes in and then Jake Cooper somehow is on the floor, loops it in. Like literally, just. Kind of over. scoops it over. I don't know how he's done it. He probably doesn't know how he's done it, but he's crept into the net and put us deservedly one 0 ahead at that stage. And uh, the problem is, we sat back. Bradshaw looked tired, and that's where I felt like we needed to freshen up. We just sat deeper and deeper and deeper. Pritchard's come on, obviously the pantomime uh, villain. Uh, after doing the, the West Ham rubbish at Sunderland, and then Sunderland fans who I felt sung real. They, yeah, you know, they brought a load yeah. of fans today, sung really well for the majority of the game because our atmosphere, despite having a, a full den, our atmosphere. It was, the, it was the most the den's been packed since, since 1995. 1995. Yeah. Coming um, out of the den. So it was, it was a good away following, and then they go and spoil it by. I don't understand. Singing bubbles. Like, and they did got, the hammers sign to my yeah, fans. Yeah, like, like your club's got so much history. Sunderland's got so much history. It's a proper football club to do noncy behaviour like that. I have absolutely no idea why why teams do it. And they can say, well, it's because it's rattled you. Yeah, but you've got your own songs. What are you what are you singing about West Ham for? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, fortunately, Mill fans don't sing Newcastle songs back to Sunderland or Middlesbrough songs. It'd be um, pretty embarrassing. But other than that, they travelled well. Um, and they'll be happy with the fact that they, you know, Pritchard takes the free kick, uh, a Savile tackle, Pritchard whips it in, long comes for it, he gets absolutely nowhere near it. Um, the Sunderland player gets there first, and it hits the inside of the post and, and, and drops into the back of the net to make it 1-1. And like I said, that was pretty much all Sunderland did the, the entire game. And it, it, you, you, you've got to be disappointed. They, Sunderland's team is quite a small team. To be conceding the set piece was, was disappointing. Like I said, um, Burt came on and looked lively. What more had a chance with Bradshaw? There was two on one, and and, and they kind of what more? Yeah, he made it. He made he, he put it too far wide for Bradshaw. Bradshaw had one of those games where he put himself about a lot. He battled hard, but um, didn't you know with the, the ball at his feet didn't do enough. Um, didn't create anything, and 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 you know lost the ball to be fair a, a few times. Who was your man of the match? I think that there was a lot of. We had a couple of good players today, like Cresswell, and I thought Fleming played all right. Bradshaw put himself a bow. Honeyman played quite well. But I think Bennett, Bennett's injury, it could be a bad one. So I'm going to give it to Bennett just because, like, as a temporary match, like, as a kind of man the match. But then them players that I said play very well Yeah, today. I think Cresswell had a really good game considering he's coming for Hutch. You know, you check the last video at Cardiff. I said Hutch is a, was in a, like a machine, and then obviously he's not there today. It was a it's a big loss, but I felt Cresswell come in really well. But for me, Honeyman, Honeyman was the the man of the match. I felt that he had an excellent game today. Put really put himself about, very lively, good 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 skillful moves on the ball. Um, and uh, Frank Oss, who was your man of the match? Go on, give me one. Give me um, one that played really well. I'd say I should give. I might give my man of the match to Bennett. Okay, no, that makes sense. Um, and we'll leave it there. Obviously, we've got QPR away next weekend. That, that another sellout from. Well, not I say another sellout for the away fans, but um, we don't normally sell out away away tickets. But we will do that because it's local. 
frustrating today. Um, it's the first time Millwall have taken a lead this season and not gone on to win all three points. So it's always going to be disappoint disappointing. I, I think we deserve to win it. And, you know, the officials were absolutely shocking. And added to that with the fact that Rowett doesn't make the subs, subs quick enough. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching the Mill Drive Home. There is only one way we can end it. You're in goal tomorrow for the first 20 minutes. That'll be interesting. Um, one way we can end it. No one likes us. We, we don't, don't care. care.